So, uh, pigeons. This is kind yes. of a pigeon story. It's definitely a pigeon story. Pigeons are the reason I'm here. Well, uh, I got invited last year to 2021. While I was out here, I asked about pigeons because I was going to do a pigeon installation with my friend Adele in Moscow. Then we hatched this idea. Why don't we get Adele to come back and paint a pigeon mural on Irv's building? Back when I was a boy in New York City, pigeon keeping was a, was a, a pretty popular hobby. There would be a coop on every, on every block. And you know, when you get older, you kind of become nostalgic for, for, for things that you've done when you were a kid. And I, you know, I thought I would keep the pigeons for a while. And, uh, and it's, it's fun watching them fly. It's almost like being up there with them. And, uh, and for me, pigeons are just like a metaphor for people living in urban spaces. Every city of the world has pigeons. And I have been on all five continents. They all have pigeons. They all look the same, just like people. So and I had photographed pigeon flyers, kids who flew pigeons in New York City in the late 70s. And so I became interested in pigeons then. And since I'm always painting pigeons, she said, oh, I have to come back here with Adele. And so we did. And then we found Irv, the owner of this building, who's the owner of the pigeons. Met up with him, I photographed a couple of his pigeons. So here we had a great combination of murals and pigeons. <laughs> And now this is, we named her Eugenie, a pigeon of Earth's Coop, which is on the roof. I don't, I'm not as sentimental. I don't, I don't name pigeons. I don't name fish. I, uh, I do name dogs, but so I wouldn't give a pig. Whenever you give a pigeon a name, he's going to be eaten by a hawk or, or, or. If he does get eaten by a hawk, he's still going to live on the side of your building. Exactly. Don't we all wish we could be, be that lucky?